Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here with another beginner calisthenics ab workout that requires no equipment at all. And first off, we've got iron butterflies. And as you can see, you want to lift your body all the way up off of the ground like I am. Put your hands just in front of your knees and in front of your shins. Do not actually touch them or hold onto them because that will make it easier for you. And you want to do 12 reps of this. Do it at a relatively moderate speed and make sure that it's fully controlled. Do not do it really, really, really fast because you need time and attention to really fatigue the muscles and make the muscles grow. And I see so many people in the gym time and time again doing ab exercises where they're doing loads and loads of reps really, really, really quickly. And you hear some people say, for example, yeah, I could do like 50 iron butterflies. And then you're like, okay, show me them. And they do them really, really, really fast. And then you tell them to do like 12 to 20 and they find it really, really difficult when doing it with a moderate speed or slow speed that is very, very controlled. And you always wanna make sure your form is as good as possible. And here I'm doing nasal deep breathing in through the nose and then out through the nose, which helps slow the heart rate down. And I feel super, super calm when doing this as well. And yeah, it looks very meditative in the video. So I hope you enjoy this. And yeah, there's a total of six different ab exercises and each one I'll explain it to you fully. And you wanna be resting for around 60 seconds, but no longer. If you find it's too long for you, then rest for a shorter duration of time. For me, I would be resting a lot shorter if it was my own workout. Because yeah, it's obviously quite easy for someone that's advanced. And here we have your side planks. With this exercise, do 12 reps on each side and make sure that your arm is parallel underneath your body, as you can see with me, rather than bent to one angle or another angle. So you want your whole legs, your core, your bum, everything engaged in the whole entire body pretty much. And yeah, you'd lean on the side. I dropped down then because I needed to move my arms slightly. And yeah, just go all the way up like a, um, and all the way down. Don't let your body touch the ground, make it almost touch the ground. And then yeah, bring it all the way up and make sure that it is your abs that you're using rather than your hip flexors to make you come up. So make sure that your abs are really, really engaged. Like clench them as if someone is gonna punch you in the abs and use your abs to move you up and down. And do this with a relatively slow speed, like I am, to get really good time under tension. We've got a little child in the background there, driving around his electric car. And this is a great core exercise that's working the abdominal muscles and the obliques. It's an all round, amazing ab core workout exercise. And yeah, it's good to try and get a combination in your workouts with exercises for the abs that work the obliques and the abdominal muscles. So you can work all the different ab muscles, which is key if you wanna get the most amazing looking abs that are very, very defined and that are very, very developed muscular wise. And yeah, you wanna be making sure that over time, as this workout starts to become easy for you, that you shorten the rest duration and even slow down each different rep for each different ab exercise on this. And if you're someone that wants to burn a lot more fat during this workout, you can actually do some active rest. And I will show you some active rest later in this ab workout video. And next, which is soon coming up, we have flutter kicks. And yeah, again, this is a very good all round ab workout. And I'm just checking my timer now and again to know when I need to start the next exercise. And with this exercise, you want each leg to go 12 times up and 12 times down. For this one, you make sure you lay flat on your back like I am with your arms down flat on the floor and lift one leg up. Try and keep your leg as straight as possible. My hamstring's quite tight at the moment. So yeah, that's as far as I can go. And make sure when you are moving your legs that your abs are fully engaged and they are doing most of the work for moving your legs rather than just getting your leg muscles to move your legs. So yeah, if you're not really feeling the burn on your muscles that much and it seems really easy, then you are not having your abs engaged fully and you're not getting the full benefits of that ab 
exercise. And I see this time and time again with so many people that are doing so many different types of ab exercises. A lot of time they're using their hip flexors or other muscles to do the exercises. And then they wonder why over time they're not getting the results with the abs that they desire to achieve. And with this whole ab workout calisthenics routine that requires no equipment whatsoever, you wanna be doing at least three to four rounds. But if you're someone that cannot do three to four rounds, just try and do as many as you can. And as you find it easier over time, you can increase the amount of rounds that you are doing to get the greatest benefits for increasing your muscle mass on your abs specifically. And the next exercise we have coming up are half wipers. And these are a very, very good core exercise all round. They're very good for the obliques as well. And what you wanna do is put your arms flat on the floor like I am now, so you can get some good stability. And you wanna be doing 12 reps on each side and do it relatively slow and controlled. The slower you do it, the harder it's gonna be and the more it's gonna work your ab muscles and fatigue them more and make them grow more. So yeah, try and get your knees to almost touch the ground and go from side to side like I am with my knees bent at a 90 degree angle. And with this, really, again, make sure that your core muscles are completely engaged and that they are doing most of the work to move it from side to side. And if you're doing it correctly, you will really feel it in your ab muscles during the whole workout and feeling that good ab burn. So yeah, if you're not feeling that, then you're not doing it right. Start over again and just be very mindful because yeah, there's a lot of time people will be doing the exercises and they will lose their mindfulness and stop doing it correctly. And you may be wondering how often should you do this ab workout routine? So it's gonna vary from person to person, but if you're doing it as hard as possible, so it's really, really challenging you and you're not doing the reps too fast and you're getting a lot of time under tension and doing it slowly and controlled, you'd only actually need to do it around once a week, which is what I did on my journey over time. And I made sure as the exercises got easier and the routines for me that I made them harder and harder and harder. But if you're someone that feels you wanna do it more than once a week, then you could do it twice a week. But yeah, if the next day your muscles are not aching quite a lot, then you didn't do it hard enough and you were more than likely not engaging your abs enough. So make sure next time you do it that you make sure that you are doing it in the best way to achieve the muscles being teared so you can actually build the muscles on the abs and make them grow. So now we have the sit-ups and as you saw, I just lie flat on my back and then you lift your legs and your arms all the way up in that V shape. And you can touch your legs if you want or just have them slightly above your legs. And if you see in this video, I'm almost putting my legs on the floor, but I am just slightly hovering them over the floor. So this makes it a lot more challenging because you have complete time under tension during every single rep. And make sure with this one you do 12 reps, slow and controlled as well. And yeah, if you find it's too hard to do all the reps without touching your legs on the floor, then yeah, you can put your legs on the floor. And as it gets easier over time, then you can start to just hover your legs over the top. And now I'm doing some jumping jacks for some active rest, which I talked about earlier on. So yeah, again, I would do this around 60 seconds. If I wanted to go more into burning a lot more body fat at the same time. And this is obviously gonna get the heart rate up a lot more. But yeah, this is for someone that's a bit more advanced with ab exercises and just calisthenics training in general and has a good cardio base. And now we're about to move on the last but not least exercise, which is the side crunches. And I was actually meant to do Roman twists here, but yeah, I ended up changing my mind halfway through, well, near the end even, should I say, and getting a bit confused. And yeah, the way you wanna do this is keep your feet on the floor, like I am in this video, and keep your back slightly lifted up off of the ground and twist to the side as much as possible. This is a brilliant abdominal exercise that is also working the obliques 
as well. And with this one, make sure that your muscles on your abs are fully engaged when you're doing this. So that's it for this video. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave your questions down below, and make sure if you wanna receive a lot more videos, you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.